first got started in theater right here in the BCC. My sister and I were both in a Theater Bartlesville production of Annie, um, and we got the bug. We were bit, we were hooked, we loved it. Well, I started when I had a child in the show in 2012 with Willy Wonka with my older daughter. Cindy called me and was like, hey, how do you feel about being a costumer? And I, I laughed because I don't sew. But she talked me into it. And ever since I started doing it, I just love being involved in the process and being around the kids. And you see the same kids. You get to meet new ones. And then you get to make friends. Lisa pulled me in by making a parrot costume for Jerrica Wood during Little Mermaid. And I'm a sewer and have been for years and years and years. I hadn't done a lot of costuming, but I came in and I, and I did this costume and gee, I was hooked. I mean, I was hooked with it. So over the past three years, Lisa and I have became really good friends to begin with. And we did Oklahoma together last year, which was a super, super fun one to do. Well, in 1999, uh, our family had the opportunity to be involved in, my children were involved in some theatrical productions in large metropolitan areas, like in Orlando and San Jose and Sacramento, California. And it was the first time that I got to see, A, what really good theater looks like and what kind of an impact it can have on the audience. And then in watching my kids in rehearsals, getting to see how the professional directors, you know, were impacting and helping them to grow through the process. Um, but also, in a couple of those shows, my kids were in cast with other kids living in the area. And those other kids and their families shared with us about all of the opportunities that their kids had, both to, to take lessons and to be in multiple productions during the year of all different types and things that just weren't available here in Bartlesville, Oklahoma for my kids. And uh, so as we got through that process and it, it was obvious this was gonna be a, a focus for my kids um, and that they were very much interested in working toward a professional life um, in the theater, um, I began to think, well, my kids are not gonna be competitive with uh, young people in, in larger cities because they have so many opportunities there and we just didn't have much here. So I began to brainstorm, looked at other programs uh, in other areas to see what could we do here in Bartlesville to bring the same kind of experience here locally. Um, and I personally knew, knew very little about theater. Uh, so I reached out to friends of mine who had been involved in this um, in different capacities and began to get a core group of people together that says, how can we, how can we do this? How can we create a, a theater program for children um, that would give them the opportunities to learn and to experience the arts? And so we started a real small group of a half a dozen people um, and we found volunteers to help us and we put on the first show in, in the year 2000 with Cinderella. There weren't a lot of ongoing learning opportunities right here in Bartlesville. So around that time, uh, several people in the community who were really invested in the arts got together and started CMT. So the summer between my seventh grade year and eighth grade year, I was cast as Cinderella in CMT's very first musical. I got to wear a big ball gown and I got to kiss a handsome prince who was a high schooler, so that was really exciting. Um, and then every summer after that, I participated in the CMT shows. So those four summers at CMT, I got to do such a wide range of things. It was really important because it wasn't professional. You know, it wasn't a professional job at the time. It was just some, simply something that we loved doing. And so CMT provided that environment that we all got to explore, play, and be with our friends and have fun doing this art. And that gave me a really good baseline for doing what I love now when sometimes it is a job. I go back and I remember how much fun 
putting together these shows from nothing was and being thrust into costumes. CMT shows would not happen without the adults who volunteer. There are so many costume pieces. There are so many set pieces. There is so much that goes into making a show happen that you don't see when you're watching the play. Absolutely, it's not just about the kids that are in CMT. It's also about the parents, the volunteers, the aunts, the uncles, the, the kids like me, the people like me who actually end up going into the business, coming back. One of my favorite things about CMT is it's not just about the kids in the community, but the community at large coming together and experiencing this together, creating something together. And it's such a, it's like such a badge of honor or, or rather, um, like you see someone in your tribe, you're like, oh, you did CMT, I did CMT. So I acted in a few plays uh, through the library actually, and um, like Atticus Finch and To Kill a Mockingbird, and, um, a few other things, and then Tracy Coggle decided to start CMT. I was like, man, that'd be, why not? You know, I've got nothing else to do in the summer. Got a part with uh, her daughter. I, I got paired up with her daughter uh, to be in the ensemble of Cinderella. And so I started that when I was 10. And then eventually uh, that show led to another show and I just kept doing shows until I eventually aged out of the program. Seeing what she has done over the past, you know, 20, 22, I can't remember, 20 years, um, is is unreal like it, it legitimately started a business by um, that helps the community or that's super involved in the community you know that uh, people nationally regionally are looking at us and being like wow look at what these guys are doing in Bartlesville Oklahoma um, of all places town of 35,000 with a giant theater that you see behind you so it's kind of incredible seeing these large-scale productions go up um, for these kids and it, it's it's hard you know she had to play she had to wear multiple hats now that I see what goes into commercial production you know producers management teams um, she wore a, a lot of hats from uh, the producing the show to being a carpenter on the set and every hat in between so her as an individual I have um, an immense amount of respect for uh, I started designing for them I, I eventually fell in love with technical theater which is when I started designing for them um, so I designed things like High School Musical, Beauty and the Beast, uh, a couple other productions for them, uh, both right after I got aged out of the program up until I um, eventually became you know, a professional and started doing this as a career. I saw how much it changed, impact our kids, you know, our two boys just loved it, the friendships that they had. And during those years that they were in it, I made friends helping build sets and then working backstage and uh, meeting some of the other creative staff that was there, became friends. And so when the boys aged out, I said, well, I'll, I'll do it another year. And it's just been fun to do every summer. There were some very specific skills that I acquired during my summers with CMT. Skills like having the confidence to get up and share an idea with a group of people. Uh, skills like working with a diverse group of people who may or may not think like you do. And really that grit that is required in those long nights of tech week where uh, you feel like the day will never end, but the experience of getting through some of those hard, long days I think forms a type of grit and determination and a satisfaction in working hard that translates to any job in any field. There were some years where I, I did and I was disappointed for not getting the roles that I wanted, but I think even that, at more so Yes, as an actor, but more so as a human being, I think it's really important for kids at that age to learn how to deal with disappointment, not rejection, but a disappointment of n something not meeting their expectations because then you learn to, to grow and move beyond that and you learn to function and thrive in an environment that wasn't the way you expected. From that very first summer, CMT was founded with this idea that even in small town America, kids should have opportunities to work with professional artists to get to learn about the process of building theater from the ground up. And that's the beautiful part of CMT is they get to bring, you get to work with professionals as a kid um, and learn how to craft a story, which is, you know, that doesn't always happen. But not just that, 
not just learning how to craft a story with, with professionals, but you get to do it in a professional setting. You come to rehearsals, you have call times, you have costume fittings, sometimes wig fittings. You have these incredible costumes that create the character as you're creating the inner life of the character. You get to put on these amazing costumes. Not only that, you have a lighting plot. You have lights, spotlights. And one of the bigger things that I think that CMT does that not everyone does is live orchestra. And that is such an important skill to be able to collaborate in time with other artists, you know, as they're giving you your cue. There are so many different elements that you are learning as a kid to balance. Every year, CMT has sought out professional artists to come in and really give the kids this professional quality experience of creating a show. They also bring in different artists every year, so kids are exposed to lots of different methods, lots of different skill sets, lots of different processes. And so by the time a kid has graduated from their CMT years, they've had these professional opportunities opportunities right here in their hometown. You don't always get that experience in every children's musical theater. It, that's, I think professional theater is the culmination and there's a standard that CMT makes sure to hit every, every year, which is just phenomenal. For one, it gets people out of the house. Um, the younger generation, you know, everybody is focusing on uh, their devices right now. You know, what's this far in front of you? And it gets you out of the house. Uh, it, it forces you to use the other side of your brain as well. So of course you use that left side of your brain and um, be artistic and you know break out of your shell and introduce you to people and so all those things factor into um, who you become as a individual later on in life, uh, including me. You know I, I had experiences in CMT that would you know shape uh, again the rest of my life. My family moved to Bartlesville in 2015. The weekend that we moved to town, um, CMT was doing Mary Poppins at the Bartlesville Community Center. And we saw an ad for it, and my kids were very excited. They wanted to go see the show. And they just fell in love. And they were like, OK, we want to do CMT. We want to do CMT. And my son had done some theater before. And he got in the show as like a picture frame and some weird stuff. <laughs> My daughter was only, I think she was maybe seven or eight at the time, she was pretty little, and she tried out and she was terrified and she came out and she was bawling and it was the scariest thing she'd ever done. Um, and she didn't get in the show, but we encouraged her to do camp that summer and they both fell in love with CMT. They just absolutely loved it. So three years in, um, both my kids had become CMT kids. They were doing stage school classes. They were doing camps. My husband and I had been involved. We got to know some of the families and we were helping to do some video work for them. The executive director was leaving and she said, I think you should apply for this job. And I was like, I don't know anything about how to run a theater. She was very encouraging and so I was like, okay, well, what the heck? And I went in and I talked to the ladies. I just feel like this is probably the thing that I would really love to do more than anything. They hired me. In 2018, I started working for CMT and the first year was just overwhelming in every way. It was more than I thought I was ever gonna be able to handle a second year of. But the other side of it is I just absolutely enjoyed it. I enjoy being around the kids, I enjoy being around the parents, and so I just stuck it out. Over those four years, we have done immense amounts. When I started here, we were just in the beginning stages of our stage school program. And our stage school program is where we teach acting, music, and dance classes to kids pretty much from the ages of four to 16. The program has just grown every year. Now we're, our stage school is just busting out. We're just adding classes every year and we have so much to look forward to with that program. It's like, it's, a lit, it's bittersweet. I mean, I'm so thankful that I've gotten to do all this stuff um, the last 10 years, but I'm sad to leave it, but I'm, great. I'm very thankful to leave it off with a big bang. At first it was a little intimidating because of course I was six. I didn't know anyone. But like a lot of the older kids who I was most intimidated by, they welcomed me and 
they like got to know my name, they got to know who I was. And so it was all very welcoming from the start. And from then on, you just make some really cool friends. Like I have some of my best friends that I've made through CMT. And my mom has like her props crew <laughs> that she's gotten to know. And she's like, I love working on the props crew. It's so fun. I CMT has given me this great way to express myself, my passion, so I never would want to give that up. So I'm hoping to do theater when I go off to like college. I think on a logical time for little kids, um, you can get like things like time management skills and just how to be like a responsible thing, like with just little things like schedules, like, oh, I have to be here, tell my mom that I need to be driving here. So things like that. Um, but I also think you get a lot of social skills as well of just how to interact with not only your peers but with how to um, successfully interact with adults. Now we're able to do camp in our own facility which is so tremendous and our camps have been getting stronger every year. Um, we can have 45 kids in this building for camp and it can be a lot, a lot of noise, a lot of people, but the camps have just, in three weeks, we put together a full one hour production of a show and parents are blown away and we're able to do four performances. So we have sold out camps every year. We've also started doing school year productions, which are like school year camps, but they're done in the evenings. The kids, were, the kids try out and they rehearse and then we put on shows for those school year productions and you know we're still doing our big summer main stage now moving into the summer of 22 we're doing the spongebob musical and this show is brand new it's colorful all new costumes all new sets um, and we're very excited about moving into this next year and what's to come for cmt i I'm so blessed that I like even made the decision to try out for this. So I would definitely say just, it's super scary. I completely understand, but just try it. You know, you never know what you'll find. So I found my home here, so maybe someone else will too. I don't even know where I would be without the, like this is my thing. I don't know what I would do without it. It's given me so much and I've been able to express myself and really find a belonging that I didn't feel that I had when I was little. So it's just, it's given me everything. I don't know where I would be without it. CMT as a program is like nothing I've ever seen before. It's not just what CMT does for the children, it's what CMT does for families. Because families, they get involved as a whole. I mean, kids come in because they think they're gonna be on stage and perform, and that's what we train them and we teach them to do. But parents have no idea how much it's gonna draw them in. They're drawn in to help with some of those behind the scenes things. They're drawn in to, to help run shows and work backstage and do all these fun areas that, that we just love. And as a result of that, as a result of, of helping out with the shows, they're making friends, they're making community, and the, the impact is just widespread. They take that out, they share that with their friends, and they're excited to get their kids involved. And so this program just has kind of limitless potential as to how big it can get. You know, we're limited only by space and by um, staffing, I would say. Um, outside of that, like, I mean, there's so much joy that comes, not just for the children, but for the entire families. And that joy is like contagious and it's, it's exciting and people love to be involved with this. And that's why I think it's just such, it has such a great impact on the community. And it's healthy, it's so healthy for these kids. You're teaching them how to perform in front of people. You're teaching them how to like get out of their comfort zone. You're teaching them how to, how to face defeat in a sense. If they try out for something, they don't make it. They have to learn how to deal with those feelings and how to move on. You know, I tell my own children, I'm like, if you try out for something and you don't get the part you want, you still have to go in there with 100% every day, even if you're just a background character. And that is so character building. And in, in today's environment, we need character building things. 
our children need character development and theater is so good for character development in so many levels. First time I auditioned for CMT I was auditioning for Beauty and the Beast and the only reason I auditioned was because my dad told me he would get me a dog if I did and I did not get in but I did get a call back and I got my puppy. I was terrified and honestly I still get terrified when I audition but I think I was mostly terrified really because I was not brave at all when I first started doing theater and it was just scary. My mom made me do Winnie the Pooh, the camp, it was for, I was relatively little when I started doing this. So we did the camp and I really liked it. So I was like, okay, this isn't that bad. And so I stuck with it and now I've done 15 shows. So the first time I auditioned for CMT, I did a one week camp. It was the Boxcar Kids camp. And I got one of the little boys, but they made it a girl so I could be in it because it's kind of awkward if you don't do that. But anyway, it was really, really fun doing it. I didn't really feel that nervous when I first walked in. Everybody looked very welcoming and happy. Nobody looked rude or mean, and that's why I really liked it. And I ended up playing Peppa, the meanest one. I don't know. I can see me getting that again. If I did it again, I don't know why, but. I said, shut your trap, Molly! But for like a character with lines, my favorite was Rooster from um, Annie. Because it was a character I could just have fun with and talk like this. That was a terrible accent. But like, oops, pardon me, Blondie. It was just a fun character because it was a smaller show and I still took it seriously, but it was more fun to just, you know, have fun with it. This was 2017. I was auditioning for Shrek the Musical and it was really scary. I went in and um, they were really nice ended up actually crying while I was trying to sing, but I, I made it through it. Well, I remember like walking into the, the school and I was so scared. And then Maggie, who played Aunt Eller, she like started talking to me and she was like so nice. I was afraid everyone was gonna be mean because they look so intimidating. And she was so nice. And she said, um, like, are you nervous? Cause I was like tapping my foot really loudly and she said um, just to calm down and I do a great job and she was really nice. I love getting to sing and dance all the time, it's my favorite because at home my mom tells me to be quiet because I'm loud too much when I sing. <laughs> so if you want a certain role then you have to really work and strive a lot harder than you did in the beginning to get to that. Oh my gosh. Um, all of my friends do CMT and some of them are homeschooled so it's like the only time I get to see them and I love doing that and I just love telling stories on stage. Uh, it's given me a chance to make a lot of friends and um, it's helped with social anxiety. Um, I'm still awkward but I'm not as awkward. All the people that you get to meet and all the great relationships that you have I mean, singing and acting and dancing, that's all great, but really the friendship is what's, to me, most important. It's great. I, um, when we first moved here, it was about a year, and then I started CMT. I didn't have any friends. So once I started this, I got like a ton. You can easily make friends here because everybody's always so nice. My favorite part of that CMT is you make a lot of friends and it's an activity that I like to do, singing, dancing, and acting. So if someone was asked me like, why should I get involved with CMT or why should my children get involved with CMT, I'm gonna just tell you like, this is like one of the best programs you could be involved with. Everybody that works here, everybody that volunteers with CMT, they love children. They adore children, they care for children, they're concerned about children, and you know, that comes out. All of the teachers, all of the staff I have, I've really tried to bring in people who are just very concerned about the well-being of children and their future, and this program gives children so much. It gives them friendships, it gives them community, it gives their families friendships and community, 
and it gives them an opportunity to brave those things that they've been terrified of, you know. There's lots of ways to get involved. First of all, if you have children, sign your kids up for stage school, sign your kids up for summer camp, sign your kids up for, try, try them out for the big show, you know. I like to tell families, do things in phases. Start with classes and then work up to camp and then when you feel really good about camp, then try out for the big show, you know. But some kids are just ready to, to go big, you know. So you, you know what your children are ready for and that's the first place to start. If you're a family and your kid gets involved in a program, then we're gonna ask you to help in any way that you wanna help. And if you have a gift for building, if you have a gift for costumes, if you have a gift for makeup, any of those kind of a things, we'll find a place for you. If you're just an adult and you just really just love to do those things, but you don't have children or your grandchildren, you know, want to get involved, sometimes we have a lot of grandparents that are involved in our program. And we have a lot of grandparents that had kids in our program 20 years ago that still come and they still volunteer and they still help build sets and they still help paint and do all these things. So there's always a place for volunteers, there's always a place for families, and we just encourage you to get involved. Just try it, I mean that's what I did, and look at me now, I've done it for 10 years. Get involved, just get your hands dirty on everything. There's opportunities everywhere. CMT's doing shows that they're building, even if you're uh, 14, 15, 16, saying, hey, I'd like to volunteer, I'd like to come in and work on these off-Broadway shows. Um, take classes in high school. Uh, reach out to, or study, uh, you know, there's, I think, still technical theater courses in ninth and 10th grade, like when I took them. So, if you want to get involved and you think it's something that you're seriously passionate about, um, it is a viable career in New York and elsewhere. I would say that CMT holds a very special place in my heart, and I do not think that I would be where I am today without it. And I am grateful and thankful every day for the experiences I have, but also the fact that CMT has continued to give these experiences to kids younger than me and growing um, the arts and the love for the arts within our community. Um, it's just so special. And I thank God every day for it. <laughs>